Hello friends, Marcy here, and we are going to look at another eyedropper pen today. Um, this was uh, recently delivered um, to my home, but I was, uh, my internet's been out, so I haven't been able to share with y'all. Um, but this one's cute. I ordered it because it's cute. <laughs> I ordered it because it's tiny. Um, after receiving uh, one I recently shared with you, this is the Mahjong uh, Q1. Um, I've been writing with this all week and it's just been so much fun, such a blast. And even though it is an extra fine nib, I've used quite a bit of ink out of uh, this huge um, barrel that holds three milliliters. That's what I measured when I filled it with the uh, syringe. So um, let's take a look at this one. A little bit of comparison here. Um, it is the eyedropper. It comes with the eyedropper. These are like, these are $20 pens, you know, very inexpensive and fun um, to try and experience. So uh, I will not be using the eyedropper today again because I would like to measure with the syringe um, how much ink I'm putting in to this barrel. Um, and also I did receive, let me see if I can share that with you. Where did I put it? Okay. I did receive some new silicone grease and, um, I ordered it. It is for, uh, fountain pens. It seals and lubricates. It's called Stylo Seal for all type pens, pure silicone. So I ordered it after, um, filling this because if you can see in the threads here of this pen, I see ink and I did not put silicone grease on the inside of the barrel threads. I only uh, greased the outside of the in, you know, the screw part or what we call the male end of the um, threads. And then I was surprised to see it here. So I wanted to get some silicone grease that was thicker than the one that came with the Twisby because it's kind of liquid. You pour it out of the little drip. Um, but this one will be thicker and I'm going to give that a, a try, but we're going to have to uh, use up or empty the ink and clean it and then I'll try this. But I may use this today on the new pen. So just sharing that a little bit. Boy, that's so lightweight. It's like there's nothing to it. All the weight is right here um, because of the nib section. So uh, since I picked that up and brought it to my attention, I'm going to give you a quick weight um, here while it's not on my frame here. Okay. Got to get back to zero. I don't know what I touched. All right, we are on grams, and this does not have a clip, so I don't want it to roll. Got to get it stable. 11 and a half grams. Wow. Okay, and just the cap. Almost four. <laughs> so if we do the math, I don't want this to roll around. If we do the, the math, we'll be about seven for the pin. Um, the little mini pin. So cute. And the name of this pin, even though in the box it does say Majan, which is the same brand as the Q1. Um, when I ordered it, it had the name Wansai, W-A-N-C-A-I. I'll put that spelling on the screen. And it is a mini pin um, with a fine nib. And the other differences are this one was an extra fine. Actually, I see, visibly see another difference um, as I hold them together. This is a huge nib. And this one looks like a tiny little five. So I'll have to find out what that measures, but this looks like the little nibs on uh, the Coeco Sport, actually. So big difference in the nib size here. All right. Now this has no like external decoration. Um, you can see that it's just acrylic on the cap, just acrylic here on the barrel and the only thing that's not acrylic here in my hand with the nib is the nib feed and the nib so no clips no bands no rings all very very basic and i'm noticing here 
I didn't know this, but I'm noticing some threads, so I'm assuming, yep, there you go. So if you'd like to post and make it a uh, substantial or a comfortable size uh, rider in your hand, that looks perfect. It reminds me of the Kueco Sport, which, let me see if I can grab quickly. And let's just see how that performs. Okay. And yeah, let's do this. So our little mini posted is just about the size. Oh, I need to come down a little bit. Sorry about that. Just about the size of the Quaco Sport posted. It looks like maybe a centimeter and a half shorter here. And let's look at, I'll put this one on the side so it doesn't roll, because I don't have a clip on there. Let's look at the Twisby Mini posted, and it does also have the screw on um, cap to post. So the Twisby Mini is longer of, the longest of the three. There we go. All right, so that's just a little um, size comparison for some other pens that you may be familiar with as you have them in your stash. Um, and that nib size, as I was comparing or stating earlier, is much like the nibs on the Koiko. So let's look at um, this pen, I do want to rinse the nib and I do want to eyedropper fill this today with you. Um, but one other thing before I get to all that good business is this one came with a package of ink cartridges. One, two, three, four, five, six ink cartridges that if you order this, you don't have to eyedropper fill. You can eyedropper fill from a bottle or you can just pop the cartridge in there and you're good to go. How convenient is that? So that just makes this pen even more fabulous because you're you can you're ready to go if you don't have bottled inks all right and you know i'm looking for the fun of it all all right i want to do a quick um nib flush with you as i'm trying to make myself uh better at that in remembering because we've seen uh, how beneficial it has been for us to or for me to actually rinse a nib and clean out any factory residue from testing. So I don't know if you're in frame, how we go. Yeah, so we're pushing water through, it's coming out clear. And what I've discovered in flushing um, the nib, it's the material in the nib feed is no longer dry. So you have like a head start um, I lost my napkin. Um, let's use my towel. You have like a head start on um, absorbing ink into the nib, nib feed when you do fill it, and it doesn't take so long to draw down. So that's my experience anyway. All right, let's get this is the ink I decided on today. Um, I almost put a blue in here, either. A, a turquoise like uh, my Konpeki or one of the Noodler's colors, but I have not used my Parfum Rose from Urban. It is a scented ink and I wanted to give it a shot. So the ink is open and I'm, I'm being brave and vul vulnerable here, so I'm going to leave it like that for a moment because I do want to get into this package. Um, and as an extra precaution, I do want to put some silicone grease on this, even though I don't know if you can see it, if I can point with the scissors, there is a clear silicone ring right here that goes around that for extra, um, protection, uh, for your leak protection, but I'm going to add extra protection. Let's say it like that. So this is a lot thicker. It's a gel. 
Um, if you were with me when I put the silicone on from the Twisby, it, it was liquid form and I just dripped it on right out of um, the bottle. So I'm just gonna put it back here on these threads as an extra precaution. You do not have to do this um, on this model. You do have to put silicone grease on the threads of other pens that you choose to make into an eyedropper pen. Now you can um, do that with other pen models. I'll show you. Um, you may do it with a Kawago Sport because all the parts are plastic, um, but you could not do it with the, like this is a metal uh, go. You could not do it with this because it doesn't, you can't eyedropper a metal pen with metal components, only the plastic. So FYI, if you ever decide to do that. All right, there we go. Now, eyedropper fill, oh, actually I'm gonna syringe fill today because I do wanna measure how much ink um, this pen will hold. And I'm gonna start with uh, just drawing up two milliliters. into the syringe and start there. It looks like it would hold at least that. Yes, with a little to spare, two milliliters did not quite fill that up. We're going to add the nib section, and you can see where I've threaded, uh, I've placed the silicone grease on those threads, how it's meeting that up, and that's just an extra seal precaution level there. And if there's any, okay, yeah, I put, if there's any residue, we're going to push it out, and that's just what happened. So I'm going to wipe that off. And here's our cap. And then uh, invert so that the gravity can bring the ink down into the feed. I'll do, wait for a moment while I take extra precautions to cover up any potential hazards. Yep, I don't want those. All right, and I did order this on Amazon. I'll try to find the link and post it in case you're curious. I think it was like $13.95, and that's quite a large container. Um, it does not have the amount. Okay. All right. Again, this nib size here is fine where this one was an extra fine and it's been such a pleasant joy to write with this week I can't tell you it's been so much fun and um, you know I teach special ed uh, multiple grades in the intermediate and one of my third grade girls had a um, I'm just chatting while I'm waiting for this ink to be ready <laughs> she had a pen that I know you've seen them they decorate them they wrap the the barrel of the pen with ribbon and then they put a, attach a rose to the top and you can make uh, like a bouquet in a pen jar. But she had one of those in my class the other day and she was talking about how pretty her pen was and she said that her pen was prettier than mine. And I happened to be writing at the time with this one and I said, I don't know, yours is pretty but mine's cute. <laughs> and so we had this debate and kind of a impromptu lesson on details and descriptions. So there you go. Uh, fountain pens can help kids learn. <laughs> That's my take on it anyway. All right, so this was called a Wonsai. And it was by Mahjong. 
I did order it from Amazon. This is a fine nib. And that ink is gorgeous. I haven't inked this before. I've been using my purple violet one scented ink for a long time, but I've not used the rose. And I think February is a perfect month to use this. So great choice, Marcy. All right, this is Urban. Oh, you know, here I'm writing away. And you know, I was totally comfortable. I wasn't even cramped or whatever. Um, but let me post this for you <laughs> so you can see it's done both ways. You can write with that little bit or you can put on a uh, screw on post and here we go. Let's continue. Um, Parfum Rose. See how it extends over what I needed? So I didn't even notice. This is a scented ink and I, I've really enjoyed um, the other scented ink. So we have, what else do we want? Oh, let's talk about our ink flow. It came down quickly. As you know, this is kind of wet and um, diluted a little uh, on this mark here because my nib was wet. Um, but as you can see, I'm writing and the ink is coming down in a comfortable flow, meeting the needs. So the horizontal line I can tell here, if I'm in frame, is a little bit uh, less wet and thinner. When I did the, the vertical pull down stroke, it's still wet and it's just a little bit thicker. So a little bit of um, variation here in this nib. I'm not sure who makes this nib. I'll have to check and see if I can post it on the screen. Um, but yeah. So it can uh, put down some wet ink as we're seeing here in this puddle. And I'm going to just finish up with writing the date. It's helping me if I record the date when I'm inking these pens and what ink I'm using. Because I have to add it to my, oh, I don't need a comma there. I'm going too fast. So I have to add it to my um, journal. Yeah, I'm loving this ink. It's nice. Parfum Rose Urban. And our one size mini pen in fine. So I hope you enjoy um, enjoyed everything I've shared with you here today. And if you like to have fun writing, just get yourself a little inexpensive pocket pen. Thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.